or two of these players are quick, particularly Chidozi from Worthington. Clark is getting into the middle. Here he is. And here's Mayer. And Mayer is there. It's a goal. Well, that should never have been allowed by Norwich City's back. The opening fell into his path rather than was created. It was certainly a good counter-attack down the left-hand side with Chidozi showing his speed. Now Chidozi getting in there fast. That's where Norwich City were open, but they got players back quite quickly. And when the ball comes over to Clark, it looks as if Norwich City have got it locked up because there are certainly plenty of players around. But somehow, Mayer gets through there. Bouncing off Walford, and there it goes into the back of the net. 1-0. Ken Brown now is down at ground level to try and get a little bit more out of his side. Corner. Well won by Mick McGuire. Bennett to take the kick, Watson on the air post, Haridi and Dean making a run in. Bennett. Oh, that's a great goal. That's a flying header there. Dean coming in from that set position just inside the penalty area, flinging himself at that and that's a wonderful goal and exactly what they needed so the kick here floated just beyond the near post i wonder if we can see Diem piling in on that one well almost but a wonderful header and it's exactly the sort of boost from Dean, the player, voted player of the previous month. It looked dangerous in the air from these set pieces, particularly with Christie often winning the ball too. Kilclank coming towards the near post. Christie getting up, but he's beaten by Dean. McCulloch. Useful cross, Christie lets it run, and good save by Woods from Clark. Brilliant save there. Young David Clark looked uh, as if he'd got his second goal in league football. That's a fine cross. It's a good dummy too by uh, Trevor Christie. Clark comes in to rattle it wide of the goalkeeper. That's a difficult save. Chidozi here on his own. Up against Walford now. And Chidozi bursting forward. Well, good cross, Christie, and that is the winner. Well, there's no doubt about where that was created. On the other side of the field, it's Chidozi bursting past Walford here. It's a good cross, a difficult one for defenders to clear. Christie has one shot. He's a bit fortunate to get the second one in, but. From that distance, he couldn't possibly miss. And that's 2-1, and there's so little time left. The referee not too happy about the way uh, Abramovich is uh, wasting time here. Or is he not too happy about what's being thrown onto the pitch? I think that's more to the point. Well, objects there coming from the Barclay end that look like coins and this sort of thing has brought trouble for the Norwich City Club before. And it certainly won't do their image any good at all here. And for Sir Arthur South in the centre there and the rest of the Norwich City directors, obviously a worrying time, particularly with Jack Dunnett, the president of the Football League, sitting on Sir Arthur's right-hand side. Referee going over to whom? Policeman? or to Ken Brown. Well, it's very difficult to know what poor old Ken Brown can do about it. It's certainly not his responsibility, but if you're the manager of a side that's struggling a bit, you even have to take responsibility for supporters' bad behavior.
the referee has also asked for police support and Ken Brown will probably remonstrate with the supporters who are letting the game the club and certainly him down well not much of a task there for the manager to enjoy it's bad enough for the side to be losing 2-1 but to have to deal with this sort of behavior is just too much well the game delayed while Ken Brown does his bit and it's difficult to know exactly what sort of difference that will make and now the game will restart. We 